Hello everybody, welcome to a brand new Let's Play series in Hearts of Iron for Kaiserreich. Today, we're going to be playing as Mexico, and we're going to be going down uh, the, the one path that we haven't done. We haven't done for Mexico yet. We've, we've done the Socialist path. We've done the uh, the National Populist before. But we haven't done the Military Junta. We've not done the Military Junta. This will allow us to join the Entente. I think that could be fun. Um, I do know Zapata needs to be killed for the, uh, for the events to take place. We'll get that done. D believe you me, we'll be, uh, we'll be more than okay. But what can't, I guess we have to do the military stuff first. Um, yeah, we'll just go for modernized military. Sounds great. Uh, what are we going for our basics? We'll go with 36 research. We will go for 36 machine tools as well as 36 construction. Currently have 16 factories. We are 2, 1, and 10. And you know what? I'm actually going to go for some military or some civilian factories right away. We got a 40% here. Let's go with just one factory for now. Don't got to get too crazy. Uh, we're going to put three on rifle production. We do. Have, we are making artillery. We don't have trucks. We don't have trains. We don't have support equipment unlocked. We don't. Wait, we don't have support equipment unlocked? You know how long it's been since I've needed to research support equipment in Hoi 4? Okay. Well, we, we need to invent trains and we need to invent support equipment and trucks. That We need a lot of things. A lot of things that I take for granted we actually need right now. Okay, so we're going to get these guys together. The, uh, Zapata will be the head of the, uh, head of the military. Definitely nothing bad's going to happen with you. Don't worry about it whatsoever. I don't know who you are, but you seem like you're going to side with us in the military coup. So you get everybody together with rifles. Get our army navy experience. Do we have anything in storage? Of course we do not. Also, are our units actually any good? They're not bad, actually. Never mind. They're actually mostly garbage. We have four of you. We have 15 of you. And if I were to switch all of the garbage with well, not garbage, we need 10,000 rifles, 180 artillery. I'm going to switch them over anyways. We shouldn't be at war for a year, for years at least. Maybe we'll intervene in the American Civil War at some point, but that'll be the earliest we actually get into conflict. Mexico, a few years ago. Mexico has been transformed in recent years. In 1910, the Mexican Revolution began against Fidel Diaz and would last nearly a decade. By 1917, uh, Zato I don't speak Spanish by the way, had become the president. However, he quickly proved to anger other revolutionaries when he embarked on a campaign to destroy his political rivals including Zapata. This will lead to the Plan du Aga Prita by a number of military and political leaders and lead to Avaro Obron become the prime president of Mexico. From here, the chaos of the revolution will wind down as the government of Mexico began a period of stabilization. The first term of Avaro would see improved uh, relations with the United States, especially after Pancho Villa made an made ambassador to the Communist of France, Adolfo de la Horta, was made uh, was able to finally get the Yankees recognized current government of Mexico as the legitimate government of Mexico. The economy would start to be improved, especially in the south, where Zapata held power and was able to implement the land reforms more co uh, comprehensively than they were being implemented elsewhere in the country. Obran would work to improve labor rights throughout, uh, though this would spark a new conflict between the two big unions, uh, the CROM and the more syndicalist CGT. However, all was not well in Mexico. There was a growing tension with the Catholic population due to the draconian anti-clerical laws that were written into the Constitution against the Catholic Church. Gonna be getting uh, another event in just a few days, I'm assuming. Oregon would be succeeded by Adolfo de la Horta, who would continue the number, uh, the most part, for the same general policies. However, his term would have a number of international incidents for him to deal with. Notably, the British Revolution and the subsequent Great Depression in the United States would send stockways down southwards and affect the economy of Mexico. This would trigger all conflicts in Central America, notably Nicaragua, where Zapata would go and help spread his brand of revolutionary ideals southwards. However, none of this was able to... Uh, it was the most controversial thing that La Horta did. That would be rewriting for, uh, of the tournament so that Orban could run for a second term, which, of course, Orban won. However, in 1932, Zapata would be elected on the socialist and populist platform, Matters term would focus on the economy, particularly the agrarian sector, with improvements on the working conditions and rights of the peasants and the Horatos, or communal land under uh, use fishy property. Work to improve uh, the rights of peasants and natives in Mexico would be his main focus during his first term, 
However, his policies would anger the conservatives and Catholics even more. The more unpopular measure with the conservatives was a change to electoral law, restricting the maximum terms to one, but lengthening the duration of the, each term to five years. His overtures to the international would cause tension with the United States, as his policy of as was his land of land redistribution. The 1936 draws many wonder what the future uh, Mexico will take. I can tell you right now, it's basically it's going to be a military coup. Okay, it's going to be a military coup. Like I'm sorry to inform everybody, but Zapata he's not he's not long for this world. Okay, we even have enough. We don't have enough supplies for all of you. I guess we'll send like. Let's get six divisions. We'll put them on the border with Guatemala for now, then. Not that I'm expecting them to invade Guatemala, but it's just going to alleviate a little bit of pressure off our supplies for our northern forces. But actually, what are, what are the folks do we have? We have Military Legacy of the Revolution. And the Economic Legacy of the Revolution. So we, we got a lot of negatives right now. Surprisingly, we're not actually dealing with the Great Depression like the United States is. And I actually, I don't know if we actually get affected by Black Monday. You think we would because we trade so much with the United States? Red Lock in France, Black Monday. What are you guys doing? They're just hanging out. Okay. Okay, we, we only get a political power bonus. And actually, I think this is the same of, uh, focus that every socialist country gets. So we're not even going to read it. It's not a big deal. It's basically like we don't suffer Black Monday effects because we're not really tied in with the capitalist... Um, economies. Even though I'm pretty sure Mexico is heavily tied to the American economy, so I don't know what the hell they're talking about. Okay, civil war in China. Nobody should be surprised by that. Okay, we modernized the army. Fantastic. I don't remember when Zapata actually gets shot. General staff for guerrilla warfare. Place use the uh, guerrilla army. More organization. Again, attack and defend the core territory, I think, just sucks. We're going to go with general staff reforms. Because, I mean, guerrilla warfare only makes sense if you're fighting within your own territory. And we shouldn't be getting invaded. Like, if we stay at socialist, the Entente might come knocking. Or the United States will come to our door. I mean, already technically there, but you know what I mean. Just something like that. Of course... Zapata needs to be slain. Breaking news from Mexico City, an assassin has shot President Zapata. While the assassin was killed by the President's guard, Zapata has been rushed off to the hospital to recover. Many throughout the country are wondering what should become of the Tiger of the South. Well, he's dead. Sorry, sorry to say. And the death of Zapata. This morning, the hero of the revolution and President of Mexico, Emilio Zapata, passed away from injuries he sustained after a terrorist attack in Mexico City. Immediately after his death, several groups from loyal politicians to reactionary generals initiated a power struggle to seize uh, control of the government and the military. Emilius Bata Salazier retired Emilius Bata Salazier. What I want to do is military junta. Reactionary generals Garcia and Trevio form a junta. Did I, did I pick you? Uh, are you one of these guys? You're not. Actually, who are the reactionary generals then? Garza and Trevino. Which is not any of you. Garza. Are they even actually in this list? Wait, can you even hire them? I don't know. But either way, the reactionary generals are going to take over. They're going to form a junta. Fantastic. We have a... Okay, there's Garza. We got a new field marshal. We will then appoint you as well. And there we go. We're now an autocrat, which, I mean, we're fine with. I don't know if we're going to... Um, yeah, we want to junta after this. Probably not going to restore democracy. I think we'll just we'll stay in military uh, junta. Oh, always a little fun. The sudden power by the military junta following Zapata's death has resulted in quite the satisfaction from the people. This is particularly notable among the rural poor that supported Zapata's reforms. Pancho Villa and Ruben uh, Jeremilo have begun to lead a campaign against the military and a restoration of revolutionary democracy. This does not look like it'll be ending anytime soon. So. Sc uh, screw this. We'll, we'll worry about general staff reforms afterwards. 
Let's get the military junta. We'll get a political power. We'll get more support for our party. And we can just immediately join the Entente. I, I think that is more than acceptable, to be honest with you. Is there a balance of power mechanic? No. Take a negative 20% stability off of this. Mexican army is facing the Capanzo's army near the town of Siela, where the Capanzo's army is held up. Uh, Jesus Freira, the Mexican army commander in charge of the attack, believes that he can dislodge them. However, he also knows it'll be a bloody battle. In the end, though, we want the... We want our strength to lower. Is that in here? Right now, they're at 10. We want it to be lowered. Yes. Yeah, so also, you all need rifles. Now, I wish we didn't have negative 10,000. If I were to switch all of you back to being garbage, just for the time being, we get 971 guns. Look, I know the military is in complete disarray right now, but this, we have to. Also, these are... Okay, Mexico first. Then I'll lower it by two. We need 200 guns to make sure this doesn't happen. So send the guns there as well. Are you all one? Yeah, so it doesn't really matter where we send you. Wait, I can just... I can click these even if I don't have guns? No, there we go. Right now it's at 8, so it's going to be 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and this would cost 2, but it doesn't really matter. They all cost 2 when it comes anyways. So in 34 days, we should end up just winning. Finding out the assassin. While the assassin was gunned down the streets, there's evidence to believe that he did not act alone. Thus, we should conduct a manhunt to the Mexico City to find who's behind the assassin. Here's the thing. I'm, I'm the, 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 um, I'm assuming the military junta... I thought they would be behind the assassination, right? Like, that just makes sense. We found out who's behind the assassin. It turns out it was Plutarco, Elias Calles, who wanted to get rid of Zapata as, as a way to strengthen his own position in power. He shall meet a traitor's death. Well, we get the political power. I'm not too sure if our current government would really care that much. We have literally 0% support. <laughs> I didn't know we had none. I mean, I guess... I thought maybe at least somebody would uh, be friendly with me. So let's let's first figure out what a train is. Trains are neat. We we'll go trains. We'll get. Some, I mean, do I actually want to research sport equipment right away? Probably not, because I don't have anything. Yeah, I actually I need ten trains, and I can't actually steal trains until I know what a train is. Also, South Africa is having a revolution. Okay, that, that's actually incredibly rare. You don't see um, the South American Revolution all too often. Like, I feel like we've seen it like maybe, maybe three or four times at maximum. And I'm actually including the, the time that we played South Africa and we did the uh, revolution events. Okay, now we'll go back to general staff reforms. Okay, victory for the federal government. Did all these get completed? Yes, they did. Girls have been dealt with and orders been restored to the country. Pablo Gonzalez Garza is celebrated by Mexico as a hero by most for ending the rebellion and restoring law and order to the country. Thank you very much. We will immediately join the Entente. Fantastic. I know, um, that, you know, Mexico's, it's got pretty old content. You can really, really tell. They compare, compare Mexico and the focus and stuff we're getting for Mexico. Compare that to Shang-Chi. A, a little, small, poor region in the middle of China. And just the amount of events we actually get. Restore democracy? With their victory against the peasant rebels, we are finally in a position of power to look inwards uh, toward government institutions and fully restore our pre-revolutionary government. However, it's unclear what path we should uh, take regarding it. Mexico for decades prospered on the guidance of uh, Pravo Diaz, and while the benefits of his rule slowly wane in his final days, there's no denying that perhaps going back to those days of Garza and power will be beneficial. On the other hand, democracy has quickly become part of the Mexican culture, and with liberal and conservative parties pressuring the junta to restore at least some semblance of democratic rule, perhaps it would be best if instead of a dictatorship, we pursue a slow transition towards democracy. So we get either elections, or we just stay a military junta. Well, these are the same. What do we actually get? Stability, 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 research slots. 
Legacy of the Revolution, Political Power. Honestly, nothing like super crazy. We also get more. I think we actually get more stability being a, a dictatorship. And this stuff in the middle doesn't matter. Fuck democracy. Let me let me be a military junta, please. I will still complete my reforms though, and I will get early mobilization while we're here. Now the question is, do I want to join the war against South Africa? Almost certainly not. Like, are you insane? Well, actually, how much stability loss would I take for joining a war? I think like negative forty percent. And while that's not going to be a, a um a forever thing, I need the stability. I would like the factory output, the dockyard output. I, mean, I don't know that to be no. We have one dockyard. You know, consumer goods, political power gain. All of this is good, and I don't want to lose it to maybe maybe stop this South African revolution. Like who? It's South Africa. That's Mil Af that's, that's Mil Africa's problem. Okay, uh, okay. Uh, as I was saying, as you might notice a little cut here. It's because I accidentally threw something across my room by, ac by complete accident. I don't know. Is anybody else anybody else watching this talk with their hands at least a little bit? I was like, I had like a little stick I was waving around and I just threw it by accident. <laughs> I had to go pick it up. Anyways, anyways. I'm not wasting my stability to go to war in South Africa to maybe win, right? Like, that doesn't make any sense. Again, like, Middle Africa, assuming that they don't fuck everything up, and I, I, they might, you know, don't get me wrong, they, they easily, easily could fuck everything up. They could just go invade South Africa at a later date. You know what I mean? Like, why, why do, why is that my problem? I don't think it is. Absolutely not my problem. That's their problem. Okay, construction one. Let's figure out what a truck is. Look, I know you're gonna keep asking me to join the war effort. I'm not going to do that, okay? Like, I'm not a, I'm not a complete buffoon. Like, what do I gain anything from the war? Like, at best, I gain South Africa as an ally. Does that matter? I don't think so. <laughs> at least a little at all. Like, I think it would maybe make sense if, like, um, if the Boers would have rise up. Like, I feel like it's the South Africa was having a revolution, right? I don't think the Boers here would appreciate it. Because you are your, your comrade Bill. I don't think you're a Boer. I'm pretty sure you're a British man. I just, I just don't see the Boers... Accepting that like like a civil war in South Africa. I think would make perfect sense uh, Anyway, modify government let's immediately go up to uh, personalization. Thank you very much Honestly personalization by like a little little past mid 36 I'm more than happy with also. We figured out what trains are. Let's fucking go Next up um, I have like 36 research now. I Do want to at least have some trains? Actually, can I steal the trains? Yeah, fuck the civilians. Those are my those are my trains now. And there we go. We've now fulfilled our train need. I don't know why we need to research what a train is to steal them from the civilians. Right? Like that doesn't make a lot of sense. Just the like, trains driving by in Mexico City, the government officials are like, what the hell is that over there? Got no idea. IEDC. I will go with a full 50 on that. The anti-native law. The law has been proposed that would repeal the various laws as a part of past for the indigenous Mexicans. The law has a great deal of support from those in power among the right wing. The regard of the laws is just another policy that the Pata did to destroy Mexico. However, this naturally would not please the various indigenous Mexicans, notably the Maya and their allies in the Yucatan. Uh, of course we're going to pass the law. I've already got troops in, in the Yucatan, so what are they going to do about it? Absolutely nothing. Of course, we're going for assist our economy. You would be an absolute buffoon to choose any other option there. I mean, we might fight the Yucatan, but like, who cares? We need one free civil, uh, uh, one, yeah, one free military factory, please and thank you. I greatly appreciate it. And we, you know what? We can put that straight into train production. Also, all of my garbage units, we can now go back and make them less garbage. I know we need a lot of guns. Like a, like a lot of guns, but don't worry about that too much, okay? Well, maybe if I were to join the war, just, just even nominally, the Canadians or the French might just give me guns. Is something to maybe think about. 
maybe is something to think about. 59 political power right now. How's, how's everything in China looking right now? Sashuan joined up with the Qing. Aside from that, nothing crazy is going on. We got the Belgrade Pact. And Europe, for the most part, seems pretty stable. But again, we're still a little early on in the game. During the Porfietato, Diaz had a plan to build a grand new federal legislation building for Mexico City. However, the revolution had long delayed that project. Seen that's five political power. Thank you very much. I don't know how much five political power is really going to do for us. We can get a free market. One building slot in every state is fucking terrible. I have no interest even remotely in that. But you know what? I will join the war. I will join the war specifically because guess what? The Canadians are going to give me guns. Thank you, Canada. I'm not going to send a single troop even, even remotely close to Africa. But I will for sure. West Indies Federation wants to give me some guns. Thank you very much. Like, we make currently 23 guns. Okay, so that only saves us like a week. Two weeks, two weeks of rifle production. But hey, those two weeks, they, they will start to add up. Right? Maybe, maybe they'll add up. Give me one more civilian factory. Put that over in uh, Veracruz. I mean, we could maybe think about sending aircraft. But the thing is, like, does the Entente have any position near South Africa to invade from? They don't. Well, they, they have, like, the Ivory Coast, the Côte d'Ivoire. But are you guys... That, that's... I'm not going to be able to make that. Are you kidding me? It's either that or they come from India. And that also does not work at all. Like, if Portugal is to join the Entente... Then maybe you can think about doing a naval invasion that way, because Portugal doesn't actually join the wars in South Africa. They, they just don't. They just don't do it. 152 days. We care about this. They also just immediately join the international. That's so like, who cares? Like what? Like what are we? <laughs> oh, they they had to fight against the Middle Africa, and I guess also our Portuguese allies. That could maybe play out a little bit more. If CNT were to win in Spain as well, because then Portugal had to invade or had to protect their colonies and the mainland, which will probably go pretty, pretty, pretty badly. That, that's just my hunch. Okay, war in the Balkans. I, I, I think we're nominally pro Bulgaria in that conflict. Because Serbia is pro-Russian and we're anti-Russian because we're pro-Germany. Again, it's a, it's a whole kind of weird realpolitik situation we've got going on. Right, like where the Entente is kind of aligned. Kind of aligned with Germany. And then the International is kind of aligned with Russia. It's, it's, just, a, it's just a little bit of a mess. A, li a little bit of a mess. I will take a uh, 100% research bonus from constant industry 2 on this. And now, on January 1st, I think this is a pretty good time for us to end off for today. Thanks for watching. Tune in tomorrow for more Mexican fun. <laughs> Have a great day and goodbye.